Five-time cup winner, quarter century Iron Man, NHL Hall of Famer, and a guy who should never ever have to pay for a drink in Edmonton or New York for the rest of his life, Mark Messier, can now add an author to his resume with the publication of his new memoir. It's called No One Wins Alone. And we welcome Mark Messier to CP24 Breakfast. Good morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. Great to be on with you. Likewise to have you. Uh, so, Mark, I want to know first, how, how did you source the stories here? Uh, do you keep diaries and journals, or did you have, have to rely on the kindness of, uh, <laughs> and memories of others for help? Because we're about the same vintage, and my memories, uh, 80s, 90s, blur. <laughs> well, as the title says, no one wins alone, nobody writes a book alone. I go. had so much help in order to get that book uh, finished, completed. Uh, Jimmy Roberts was amazing. I, I really trusted him and sat beside him for hundreds, if not thousands of hours over the course of writing it and uh, um, just jogging the memory and you know I'd taken notes since retirement but going back and you know we talked to many people and tried to uh, recount the stories as uh, accurate as possible. Leadership is a central theme in the book and one definition I really like about leadership is that leadership is the liberation of talent basically having the confidence in yourself and others to give them the freedom to fall down to fail but get up and learn without fear now, was that your experience, or was it more old-school drill sergeant stuff from your leaders, and then when you became one? Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a great quote. Uh, for me, it was uh, what Abe Lincoln said, no man can govern another without his consent, meaning ah. in order to get the permission to lead anybody, uh, you have to earn their trust, and you earn that trust through building relationships. And, and uh, you know, I, I think for me personally, I was uh, more interested, and I knew that in order to be successful, that we had to ever, have everybody on the team uh, believing in themselves, believing in the uh, culture, believing in the direction that we needed to go in order to win. And I was lucky enough, to, uh, to be honest with you, to be surrounded by some of the best players ever to play the game. And collectively, we found a way to, uh, to work together to, uh, to get uh, to the championships. You know, as a guy who holds countless records himself, what do you think of the over-under for Ovi, breaking your buddy Gretzky's record there? You know, Ovechkin got his eighth goal of the season last night, so he needs 156 goals. Uh, to, to, to beat Gretzky's record, and he's 36. He's a stud. He's a specimen like you were. Do you think he can do it? I do think he can do it uh, for a number of reasons. One is he's been incredibly healthy throughout his whole career. Uh, he's obviously he's very big and strong and powerful. Uh, he scores from all over the ice, and as he gets older and he starts to slow down, he's still got this amazing shot where he can score from the outside. So. Uh, he's off to an amazing start, uh, and it wouldn't surprise me if he does do it. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be really hard, hard and challenging. But to think that we're even having this conversation that somebody yeah. could actually break Wayne Gretzky's goal-scoring record yeah. is awesome. It's great for the game, and uh, if he's able to do it, it'll be a tremendous accomplishment. I want to get you out of here on this. Any thoughts on the Kyle Beach, Chicago Blackhawks uh, sexual assault saga? What's going on now? Well, it just it's uh, when you hear stories like this, it just it's like someone punches you in the gut, and no player should ever have to go through that. It's unacceptable uh, what happened. Um, I think the NHL came down, acted, uh, you know, uh, in their uh, in their fines and mm. and what's going on there. So they did that, and I think for the most part, uh, it's just to me disgusting that he was able to leave that organization and go somewhere else and do the same thing. So. Um, you know, our hearts all go up to Kyle and his family and his girlfriend and his support system around him. We wish him all the best. Mark Messi, I wish we had all day, but uh, our time's up. No One Wins Alone is the memoir. It's awesome. Thanks for this hymn to our national sport and the religion of this country. You are one of the greatest preachers of the game. Uh, I hope <laughs> you have great success with the book and have a great day, Mark. I really appreciate being on. Thank you.